Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's time to do the quest where we need to confront the document forger upstairs. So instead of just going in the front door, which would be a terrible idea, if I remember right, through this little underground place, I think there's a way in, a secret way in. Also, I sold a neuropazine for some information. Ah, I still can't punch that and I have no frag grenade. Yeah, I sold neuropazine for information from that person. They gave me a passcode to something in here. Maybe something I've already hacked, I don't know. Yeah, that's a quest that just popped up right now. Oh right, I came into this from like the other side and threw some boxes around here and powered this thing down before this was a hazard. Um, oh, I guess I just completed the Every Little Bit Helps quest, which is the, the password thing I was talking about. Give me some XP. Cool. So maybe this wasn't the... Oh, Christ. For... Oh, Jesus. For a second, my brain just read this as like a mangled bloody arm, and then I just realized it's the flamethrower that I blew up to try to open up this thing. Whew. It scared me for a second. Oh, right. This place. We got the giant mushroom in here. What's that? It's an object there. Anyway, doesn't look like this is the way into the compound, although there are two grating things that I can't get into. Either one of those may take me in there, but thinking maybe it's the place up here. Fucking Connor. That bombing was bad for business. It's a bad buy. Yeah, was it in here? Oh, I can find so much more stuff now that I've got the magpie thing. Whoa. You gotta be kidding me. There's a credit chip, I think, under the fridge. Oh, that's horrible. I can't move it. Ah. <sighs> Sadness. Um. Whoa! You looking for permits? The money is slow to You don't want to keep doing that. I wonder if I can get in this way. I wonder if Drahomir would let us set up a second checkpoint. I mean, I feel like they're just gonna see me. Like, super easy? That bombing was bad for business. The are By tomorrow, we will be so busy you will be complaining about that. Only two guards out here, that's actually super easy. I'm gonna make sure I don't use up too much energy so I have some to do a takedown. First use of the stun gun. Whew. Worked well. Took him out really fast before they made too much noise. Make sure I don't make too much noise and they open that gate over there. <laughs> They're just called forgery thugs. Uh, oh! Oh, I've got the code for this. Cool. What does it say? Kaniki and... Cracky? Ah. 
You know, uh, yeah, I'll use a multi-tool on this. I just got so many parts. I've got a bunch of these things. It's probably worth it. Grenades. Yes, I can use those to open up panels and stuff. Of course, they make a lot of noise, but... Oh, that was a lot of money. 800 and 300 or so. Should probably get this tongue gun out, because that can take care of an issue faster than the tranquilizer. secretary doing in here? So I'm trying to hide it in an event? Propeller Frog Boy. How many times must I tell you to stop changing the codes? Kaneki and Hraki is my mother's legacy. We may not use it for toys anymore, but we still use it, and mother's codes must never change. The code to the locker on the right must be 1998. The year mother invented Propeller Frog Boy. May they both rest in peace. <laughs> Propeller Frog Boy? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, is that another one? Drahimir says, Melina tried to sneak out again last night. Everyone keep eyes on that vent of hers. She's got too much work to do to be allowed to leave whenever she wants. I'm guessing Melina is probably the person doing the forging. You know, forging sounds like metalwork. Forgery, I guess, is better than forging. Whoa, I see some heavy security in there. That might be Melina. Actually, they have a weapon. Maybe not. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Prefer not to go that way if I could. Teddy bear head. What's up here? I know there's a vent or two that I can try, but I'm curious about this pathway. I don't think you're supposed to go up there. I think they make it so you can't actually, like, grapple onto things where you're not supposed to be. Like this. Even though theoretically you should be able to grapple onto it. Okay, let's see where this goes. Looks like it goes into the compound. Ooh. I think that's them. Yeah, they're not red. Hello. You... Please don't shoot me. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? <laughs> I think you work for those scam artists out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like uh, social services for the disaffected. You know, like no og left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? That, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look. I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys. Not like Drahomir. Yeah, it sounds like they're pretty much a prisoner. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. Adam Jensen, his his skin looks so pale and pallid, if that's the right word. They look like a ghost. 
Essentials. Right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. The government, they print up these official permits each month. But they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other orgs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Government corruption versus organized crime. And regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahumir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him, or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahumir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms, scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear, you are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one, then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone, we should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries. So the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. Alright, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. Alright. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. I would like nothing more than a deal with Drahomir. Uh, where was that safe exactly? When they're talking about the safe, it just kind of showed this vent. Got the forgeries. Already read that. A 
city designed for you. We're the most technologically advanced generation in history. At an individual level, we have successfully integrated the best of this new technology into our bodies and into our lives. At a communal level, however, many of us feel out of place in our surroundings. The cities we inhabit are, at best, repositories of old architecture and old prejudice that no longer match our potential or our needs. At worst, they feel openly hostile to what we have become. Augmented citizens across the globe recognize the need for a new kind of city. We need a new... Oh, this is for Rabia, isn't it? Yep, it's for Rabia. I knew it. Wait, wait, wait. That says, grab the button too heavy. Heavy? The button's heavy? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, where is the safe? Like, it showed it, sort of. Is it not in this room? I guess not. But the thing is though, they said like the safe is over there. Was it this one? I don't know. I do want to explore this place more though. Hmm. <laughs> Just like an old toy store. Bunnies and robots. Actually, is that a bunny? That one's a bear. I don't know about this one. Gas. Oh, I feel like I've been through here. Maybe this is where I was coming into the the place from. Whoa. What the hell happened here? No, no, I haven't been here. You look like a scientist. Experiment gone wrong? This message could not be sent. Failed delivery. Mondo, you won't believe this. Why did I run? How can I be so stupid? I'm not even augmented. I just panicked. These fucking corrupt cops. That wasn't even a real checkpoint. And what kind of cops throw fucking grenades at you when you run away? If you can track my signal, please send someone. I'm stuck in between two buildings or something. I don't really know where. The hell? How did you get down here? So I could blow the structural weakness. Oh, this is the sewers. Yeah, this is where the gas was, this way. So it'll just lead to the sewers. Okay, no need to blow that open then. Really? No one to grab that? If I used a stun gun on a camera, I'm looking forward to squeezing into that uniform tomorrow. Would it work? Also, is it going to see me here? Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta go that way, which is where it's looking. I wish I had a gun with a silencer. None of these have a silencer, right? Let me try this. Okay, so that didn't work. Ooh, I have an idea. What if I put down a smoke grenade? Would that make it so it can't see me? I just wonder if it would 
be triggered by the smoke grenade itself. Oh my god, it works! Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Jaramir doesn't want us changing the security hub code. Apparently it must always be the birth year of his precious Matka. I've changed the code back to 1980 to keep him happy. Well, these ones wiggle back and forth. Okay, what are those? Like... They look exactly the same as the laser emitting ones, but they don't have a laser coming out. Are they just off? Yeah, guess so. Ah, and we got the password for it. Uh, there we go. Turn the cameras off, open the door, and turn the laser thingy off. Okay, now we can breathe a little bit. Hi there. So, um, yeah, Melina, how about that safe? It must be that safe down there. It must have been. It did point at... It did point at the vent. I guess they're not assuming you necessarily came from there. Because I came from there, it seemed like, why would it be in the vent? But I think it's saying, if you haven't been there, go there, and then you'll come across that... The, uh... Yeah, the lockbox over there. Okay, I guess that was the safe. Fragmentation mine? I've never seen anything but a mine template before. Bullshit. The guy's a scam artist. Everyone knows it. If you ever find proof of this, I'm with you. You know that. Oh, so this police officer is talking about Drahamir being a scam artist. Is this the one I'm supposed to talk to? Yes. Not from here, are you? What gives it away? You just walked up to a police officer. And I have this funny feeling you expect something good to come out of it. I recently got stopped at a fake checkpoint. Heard there was a cop around here who might know what I'm talking about. Draumir, he's a slippery fuck. Pays off all the right people, provides all these bullshit documents that prove he's legit. Regional inspector, my ass. I'm putting a file together. A file? This guy's dressing up like a cop and harassing hogs in the street. <laughs> Sounds like 90% of the people I work with. Listen. The right amount of coin in the right kind of pocket, fancy looking paperwork, those things go a long way in this city. Especially if the perception is that he's not really doing anything wrong. Just giving Ogs a hard time. There's more to it than that. That's exactly what I think. Why don't you fill me in? What's Drahomir been up to behind my back? There was a girl named Elena. The way she tells it, she was forced at gunpoint to work for Drowmere. They kept her in a little room and made her forge documents for them. Why didn't she go to the police? She was scared. A lot of people are scared. Yeah, of course they are. Prague's going to hell. The bad cops don't care and the good ones are too busy filling out forms. Fuck it. drahomir has been pulling this shit for long enough and I'm sick of being told to ignore it. Official police business now. Ooh, we gotta watch Stay this. Stay out of it. Very interesting. Time to 
Shut it down, Drahomir! No oh! I uh, didn't expect that to result in gunfire so quickly. Should I help them? They said don't don't involve myself in it. I've seen Drachovir pretend to be many things. My friend was never one of them. It's been taken care of. He's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank God. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did. Listen, if you ever need documents for something... I'll be fine. Thanks. Come out, Og! Did they come out, Og? Do they even know who they're fighting? <laughs> it's done. What a place! Okay. Well, this checkpoint's gone. Nice. Ooh. Hideout security concerns. Our little forger snuck out through the vents again last night. I know you think she's too scared to stay away for good, that she will always come crawling back out of fear, but still. Uh, well, we already kind of know this stuff, don't we? Yeah. Something is out there. I know it. Hello? All right. Glad that's dealt with. Okay, now we need to go speak with the two people we need to give the documents to. I think they're just like right here. Oh, everybody's panicked. I might not be able to speak with them. Oh, I never noticed this building before. It's, uh, it's in uh, a gallery. Not now. Are they? Down, down here? No? I don't think so. I want to check this place out, though. Oh, there's someone there. They're not red, though. I don't think they're going to try to attack me. We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel what we did not used to feel. We hear voices. Teach us to have children so that we may love them. Primus, is that you? Are you a Renka Bauer? Who are you? Please take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Irenka, she gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot Helena. Irenka is not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an odd permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Really? If, if that's true, she'll be... We'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll even... There was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. It's her way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here. This permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... Does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise, a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. Uh, I... Uh, we don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it.
Okay, we still need to meet Edward as well. Okay. From Thomas Bauer to Irinka Bauer. Worried about you. Dear sister, I no longer know what to do. I've entertained your science fiction fantasies for months now, but I fear it's only making things worse. You are rehearsing for a role that does not exist, using robot Helena to hide from what the world has become. I want to help you, Irinka, but I don't know how. Please, tell me what to do. Irinka... Irinka needs help. Mental health help, but... I mean, in this climate, they are not going to get it. Not anytime soon, unfortunately. Oh, I think this is the play. You can read that if you want. It's not in English, so I can't read it. So the marker is like right here? Like. It's like right here. Yeah, I've taken a look around the basic area. Just taking a peek at everybody around here. Trying to see. If, trying to look for an Edward, and I cannot find an Edward. Unless. Could it be you? No. I hate that these terrorists are winning. My friend is I did notice this, though. Maybe Edward's on the roof? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, I've already been up here. Right. Yeah, I remember the uh, pocket secretary that I read here. About that, like, AUG support group. Yeah, I jumped here from... from here. Well, no luck finding Edward. I just wanted to take a quick look at this point of interest. This is the chicken, what is it, chicken foot? Restaurant or, or place where there was a shooting. I looked all around the ground here now that the uh, checkpoint here has been disabled. It's much easier to move. And I didn't find anything, but I did just spot a building up there. I feel like I've maybe been in there before, but I'm not sure. Because I know we did go up this direction. And I remember that being a hard jump to make for some reason. But yeah, let's go check it out again. Probably we've already found it, but just like the other point of interest, we probably just need to go in here and then it'll activate. Yep, shots fired. It's the end of it. Wait, wasn't there a... Was this the room where I found the, uh, the pistol bullet? The pistol shell? And a body? I see the blood, but where's the body? Well, pretty sure I was here, but it looks like I missed a lot of stuff. Helena Valine. Yeah, I've already read this, right? The bank expecting you. Payment. Yep, and did we read this book? Contemporary Art Review. Um, I don't believe I did. International galleries have seen an increased demand for marginal artists, including works created by the augmented. This may seem controversial to some, but the art world has never shied from that. In fact, augmented artists may have found a powerful ally in the form of Nathaniel Brown, CEO of the Santo Group. A professed art connoisseur, Brown has already undertaken to open an impressive art gallery in Rabia. He also plans to offer grants specifically to augmented artists to come live and work in his desert oasis. I think the augmented, due to their particular nature and the nature of their enhancements, create art differently, says Brown. They may well influence a whole new movement, and I encourage other patrons of the arts in Rabia and elsewhere to embrace these artists. The fact remains that for now, augmented artists remain at the fringe, 
and that getting to Rabia to enjoy what seems to be enviable artistic freedom may be well beyond most. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Not sure about Edward, but maybe we'll run into them at some point. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to head on over to the other side and do some of these other quests. <laughs>